to flatten a panel with a joiner plane. The other major use of the joiner plane is to flatten large panels. Uh, typically, you might use a, a shorter planes to prepare the panel ahead of time, triplane, four-plane. Joiner plane would be the last plane. Uh, after that, of course, would be a smoothing plane uh, in a sequence of things. Um, the handhold here is a little bit different than the one I showed you when we were do edging, uh, joint edging a board. Joining a board, you remember I used my thumb on top and four, uh, four of my fingers underneath. Now I'm going to grab a hold of the nose of the plane with my thumb on my left side here, and my fingers on the right side like that, and I'm focusing more on just holding the board flat on the work. I'm not trying to balance it to joint and edge. So, and the other aspects of stance are, are, are equally applicable here. In other words, I'm keeping my weight over the, over the work as I plane through. Um, following through with the plane like this, keeping the weight here, always focusing on the middle part of the plane so that I don't make a, a, a rounded surface. I'm trying to really, in essence, to make a scoop surface here. Just following through like that. The board is warped. I'll be getting a cut here and a cut here, and eventually the cuts will lengthen out and I'll connect the two in between. In the reverse's case, I'll just have a cuts in the middle. Again, it's all about focusing on holding the plane flat on the work and keeping your um, focus on the cutting part of the blade. and following through as much as possible. As I mentioned before, with longer boards, you may need to take a step or two in order to keep yourself uh, over the work. You don't want to ever wind up planning out this far where you don't really have side to side or control of the plane. You want to keep yourself over the plane as much as possible. You can see that the board is flat here, but it's still got a little warp here, a little warp over here and here. So I'll just continue through until I get this board flat all the way across. 